I just put ChatGPT 03, Claude 4, and Gemini 2.5 Pro through the ultimate coding battle to see which AI deserves your money. And the results will completely reshape how you choose your AI tools. You'll discover the shocking moment one AI's entire platform crashed mid-test while the others kept running, why OpenAI's massive 80% price cut might be the smartest or dumbest move they've ever made and the brutal side-by-side -side coding gauntlet they exposed which premium ai can't even handle basic tasks on the first try the o3 versus claude for opus versus gemini 2.5 pro who wins today we're going to be testing them side by side and seeing which one performs the best in a coding gauntlet now ChatGPT have actually just released a new update where the price of coding with O3 is 80% cheaper. So we'll be testing out and seeing which one gives the best outputs and which one performs the best side by side. So we have Opus in the middle, we have Gemini 2.5 Pro on the right hand side, and we have ChatGPT O3 on the left hand side. We're going to get straight into this and just run it through some examples. First thing that we're going to try here is we're going to say build a bouncing ball physics game. You can get all the prompts inside the AI success lab, completely free link in the comments description. We'll test this out. So we're going to say build a bouncing ball physics game where each bounce produces a musical note and splash of light. Add bonuses for combo bonus bounces, unlock new sound sets, blah, blah, blah. Right. So we'll code each of these inside Claude, Gemini and ChatGPT. What we're looking for here essentially is not just speed but also which one performs the best in terms of outputs and which one gives us the best UI as well, the best experience, right? So they're all coding out directly here. It looks like Claude is leading the way with ChatGPT 03 coming in second and then Gemini on the right-hand side performing. By the way, if you're wondering, okay, how much it costs to code of each of these, if you want to use the API whilst we're waiting for these to load. So Gemini is the cheapest to code with, you can actually get a free API. Claude, Sonnet, let's compare these two. So we can actually do a comparison on Open Router in terms of which one performs the best. We open up the models here. We're not using OpenAI 03 Pro because it's not particularly good as an API. It's just going to take 5, 10, 15 minutes to generate each output. We're just using the normal 03 model. So let's find that. And then if we compare these versus Claude, and you can see a comparison of the prices right here, right? So for example, OpenAI 03 versus Claude Opus, the costs for Opus are a lot more expensive than the costs for O3, but let's see which one performs the best. So if we go back to Claude now, we have the example. Let's pull this open, see what we got here. And that seems to have come up with an error. So that's not actually working. It seemed to work like the first time around, but then it totally failed. Let's have a look at Gemini 2.5 Pro. That has also come up with an error. And let's have a look. Open out 03. We'll preview this. Oh, that's working perfectly first time around. All right, it works off that before it makes any crazy noises. But you get the point. So essentially, 03 is actually beating Claude Opus 4 and Gemini 2.5 Pro using exactly the same prompts, right? And you can see we tried to fix the error before on Opus, didn't work. Tried to fix the error on Gemini, it doesn't work. But O3 actually performs better and it's cheaper on the API versus O3 versus Claude Opus, right? So big difference there. And you can see that actually O3 is not a bad model to code with at all. So let's try something else now. What we're going to do is we're going to take the next prompt. Take this. We'll start a new chat in each. So it's got a different context. We'll say make build a SERP racing game where you fly a rocket powered blog post past AI spam sites. And we'll say make it feel like a flappy bird style game. Add crazy colors too. All right. And then we're going to plug that into O3. We'll do the same inside Claude. And then we'll do the same inside Gemini as well and see what we get back. All right. Just bear in mind that O3 was the only one that managed to do the task first time round. The other two didn't manage that at all. And also when we tried to correct the errors, both of them didn't work. So let's wait for them to load. I've not actually coded that much with O3, but I did want to check this out since the new update came out today with the 80% cheaper costs. 
So you can see the announcement of the 80% price cut right here from OpenAI developers. And the costs have gone down way cheaper than before. Look at OpenAI 03 this month versus last month, right? The prices are just so much cheaper. So let's see what we get back here. We've already got the output from 03, which is pretty wild as well. So let's preview this bad boy. Hopefully it continues up the momentum, but it's not looking good. Let's see what we got. Oh, there we go. It's not bad. I like the colors, the UI. The design is super basic, but honestly, AI is not great at coming up with UI, but that's worth first time around. And it was the first to create it. Let's have a look at Gemini now. To be fair, this is looking nicer. I like the emoji style rocket that we've got. No sound effects. Let's see what we got here. All right. And then let's test out on Claude. I would say Claude's Alpha is the best, to be fair. Like, that's way crazier. And super addictive, for a weird reason. So, if I'm going to have to call a winner here, I'm going to say that Opus 1, followed by Gemini, and then OpenAI 03 didn't do a bad job, to be fair. Like, it did something decent. Brandon asks, which Gemini version is this? So, this is 2.5 Pro Preview, the one inside Gemini.com. And Brandon says, please tell me the code is better with ChatGPT. It takes a while to get it to do what I need to do. Claude definitely does it better from what I've been experiencing, but I use both together. Yeah, so it's mixed so far. As you can see today, like round one, ChatGPT 03 one. Round two, Opus one. So it's mixed so far, but we'll see what we get back so far. This is definitely looking a lot nicer so far. So let's see what we get on the next test here. I'm going to take all of these. I'm going to create a new example and I'm going to go into chat GPT just to get a little prompt idea for this. So I'm going to say, okay, create a prompt for a dopamine inducing AI growth calculator, a single HTML, crazy colors, visuals, confetti, links to my funnels. We'll see if ChatGPT 4.0 can just give us a good prompt for the next test. Here we go. Now what we do is we'll go back to each of these and get the party started. For some reason, Claude doesn't want to start a new chat, so we'll just type it in manually. And in the meantime, we'll go to Gemini as well. Claude seems broken. Is Claude down? All right, we'll have to use the open router. If... You can see here, Claude is not loading on the new chat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to chat inside here, open router. Then we're going to add a model and we'll type in Claude Opus. And we'll just try that instead. So O3 has come back to us now. Hey, this is looking pretty good to be fair. Let's just check it works. Yeah, that's looking incredible, isn't it? It's never been so fun to calculate. Let's click. These go to my funnels as well, as you can see, pretty nice. Yeah, not bad at all. O3 is doing well there. Let's have a look at Gemini 2.5 Pro. It's not bad. I wouldn't say it's as fun to use as the previous one. And also the charts don't really show up here. Additionally, if we have a look here, you can see that you can't get back to the previous screen, which is not ideal. So, you know, you can't calculate the time. And also it feels a little bit laggy when I'm scrolling up and down here. You can see the lag a little bit. So it's not as good as O3s. Let's have a look. We've got Opus here doing its magic. Claude.ai is not opened at all, which is annoying. I'm just going to close that for now. It's broken. And then we can test this out on Liveweave. And let's see what we got here. So this is the output from Opus. It's a little bit laggy. Like you see how it's lagging here. And it's like struggling to scroll down and stuff like that. Like it feels really laggy. It looks nice, but it's just not quite nice to use when you actually scroll through the website. Like people are not going to enjoy that. So if I had to declare a winner here, I'm going to say 03. So 03 won the first round and it also won the third round. But the second round, Claude Opus won. However, the main website of Claude is not even opening up. If we go to Claude now, ah, it's working again now, but it wasn't working before. 
overall, I'm saying ChatGPT 03 has won that. We did three tests. You can see the outputs here. The website didn't fail, unlike Claude. It won two rounds out of three. It created really nice outputs. So you can preview it in the canvas as well. And everything's looking really good there. So thanks so much for watching. If you want to get all the prompts from today, feel free to get that inside the AI Success Lab. Link in the comments and description. If you want to get access to daily new free trainings as well, you can get that inside the AI Success Lab along with a community of 10,300 people and also all of these different courses on the left-hand side like you can see, right? And all the video notes from today are inside here along with the details on the new O3 model Pro that just came out. And you can get that link in the comments description. Appreciate you watching. If you want to get an AI automation session that basically looks at your business, helps you figure out, okay, what's the best way to automate your business to save you a lot of time, then feel free to get that link in the comments description. You can book in a free AI automation session. We can jump on that call together, help you out, give you some tips. And that's essentially it. Thanks for watching.